Afternoon, students. పంపించు పంపించు వాడి good afternoon students so now in today class uh, so far you have to complete the uh, frequent item sets and uh, what are the frequent item set you have to use with the algorithm so frequent item sets uh, what are the patterns and what are the algorithms you have to use it in frequent uh, item sets uh, apply the algorithm <laughs> epic growth algorithm so those are all algorithms you have to discuss and which patterns are interesting or uh, uh, not interesting uh, evolution or pattern evolution methods and uh, uh, pattern mining so constraint based uh, frequent pattern mining these are all concepts you have completed uh, in last class and before classes we have to discuss the regarding to the classification and uh, what is the classification uh, decision tree index based classification methods and rule based classification uh, based in belief networks classification by uh, back propagation support vector machines these all concepts you have to complete uh, in previous classes so now in today class uh, we have to uh, discuss with that cluster analysis this is a very important uh, an extra point of view Uh, cluster analysis means generally whatever the data we have in all over the world the data uh, for the data centers we have to represented as dots so all over the world a particular region 
dots you have to group it as a one cluster uh, group it as a one cluster and that is simply you call it as uh, clustering is a process of uh, uh, grouping a set of data objects into a multiple groups or clusters so that that objects within the cluster have the high similarity but are very dissimilar to the objects in other clusters actual uh, clustering is the and that is the grouping of set of data data objects uh, so here uh, that is the regarding to the clustering uh, similarities whatever the uh, data objects you have to group them, that all data objects must be in the, uh, in the form of similar uh, similar objects those all or those data objects are similar objects dissimilarities and similarities are assessed based on that attribute uh, values uh, describing the objects and often involve with the distance measures clustering as a data mining tool has uh, its roots in many application areas such as uh, biology security and business learning to that clustering and simple that we japan and uh all over the world we have the data centers so oh, the you have designed as a one point uh, data point so one particular reason all data uh, data uh, data uh, data centers we have to represent it as one cluster so whatever the data points we have represented as a cluster that all data uh, must be in uh, data objects must be in the form of similar similar data you have so here that is the cluster uh, how uh, this uh, similar data you have to analyze that is the cluster analysis so cluster analysis uh, simply you call it as uh, cluster analysis is the is the process of uh, partitioning a set of data objects into subsets each subset is a cluster uh, such as objects or cluster is similar to the one another uh, dissimilar to objects or another cluster that says the set of clusters resulting from the cluster analysis referred as a clustering so clustering is simply you can say that uh, uh, it is a process of partitioning of a set of data objects into subsets that is simply call it as cluster analysis so generally in the cluster analysis uh, you have to represent automatic classification generally here you can use Uh, a cluster of data objects uh, can be treated as an implicit class. Uh, that cluster, uh, the clustering is called as automatic classification. So generally, clustering is also we have to call it as data segmentation. Uh, here, uh, data segmentation means in some applications because clustering uh, partitions large data sets into the group according to their similarity. clustering is also be used in outlier detection where the outliers uh, where the outliers may be more different uh, more interesting than the common cases uh, applications of outlier detection include the uh, detection of the credit card fraud and uh, monitoring and uh, criminal uh, activities in electronic commerce uh, it is the you can handle with this uh, outlier detection example uh, exceptional cases in credit card transactions such as very expensive infrequent purchases may be uh, of the interest as possible fraudulent uh, fraudulent activities so here we have to use clustering is also you know as unsupervised learning because the class level information is not present for this reason clustering is a form of learning by observation rather than the learning by uh, examples in data mining uh, efforts have focused on uh, finding methods of efficient and effective cluster analysis in a large database back to them uh, for research focus on the scalability of uh, clustering methods the effectiveness of the methods are clustering uh, complex shapes and uh, types of data and high dimensional uh high dimensional clustering techniques and methods of the clustering 
um, mixed numerical and nominal data in large data sets. So generally, here what are the requirements of the cluster analysis? Mainly, the requirements for the clustering analysis is uh, first one is the scalability. Uh, second one is the ability to deal with the different types of attributes. Uh, these are the requirements for the clustering. Uh, scalability, ability to deal with the different types of attributes. Uh, these are the requirements for the uh, requirements of clustering in data mining. Scalability, ability of deal with the different types of attributes. Uh, discovery of uh, uh, the clusters with the attribute to shape requirements for the domain knowledge to demand, determine the input par, uh, parameters ability to deal with the noisy data uh, incremental clustering and uh, inter, inter, intensity to input order capability of uh, clustering high dimensional data constraint based clustering interoperability and uh, usability uh, so these are these all are uh, uh, requirements for the clustering. And here you can represent the first one scalability. Uh, scalability means generally you have to represent it as many clustering algorithms work well. Uh, small data set containing the uh, fewer uh, than the se several hundred data objects. However, a large database may contain millions and uh, billions of objects, particularly in web uh, search scenarios. Clustering is on only a simple of even large data set may lead to the business results. High scalability uh, clustering algorithms are needed to uh, requirements of the clustering. Ability to deal with different types of attributes. Uh, many algorithms are uh, designed to clustering in memory data. However, applications may re require clustering other data types such as binary, nominal, and uh, ordinal data. And uh, mixtures of these data objects recently more and more applications uh, need clustering technique uh, for complex data types such as graphs, uh, sequences, images, and documents. And third one is the discovery, uh, discovery of uh, uh, discovery of clusters with the uh, with the object object uh, arbitrary shape. Generally, we have to call it as uh, many clustering techniques. Uh, algorithms you have to use it to determine the cluster based on that Euclidean and Mahatin uh, distance measures you have to use. Generally, here in environment surveillance, you have to use it this one and discovery of the clusters with the arbitrary shape. And the fourth one is the requirements for the domain knowledge to determine the input parameters. Uh, generally, here you can represent the, uh, to provide the domain knowledge in the form of input parameters, uh, like uh, desired number of clusters, uh, we have to represent it here. And ability to deal with the noisy data. And the fifth one is the ability to deal with noisy data. Most real world data sets containing uh, outliers, uh, outliers and are missing unknown uh, erroneous data. That data you have to sensor readings we have to consider here. And the sixth one, uh, incremental clustering and uh, insensitivity of to input order. In many applications, incremental updates uh, may arrive uh, at uh, at any time. Some uh, clustering algorithms cannot be in, uh, incorporate incremental updates into the existing clustering uh, structures. And instead of having to uh, recompute in a new clustering from scratch. And the seventh one, ca capability of uh, capability of clustering. Uh, high dimension, high dimensional data. So here, uh, a data set can uh, contain uh, numerous uh, dimensions or attributes. And uh, eighth one, constraint based clustering. Uh, this is one of the important. Uh, most of the cases we have to use with constraint based clustering. Real world applications mainly we have to use with this one. Uh, may need to perform the 
clustering under various kinds of uh, confines. Suppose uh, the job is used uh, by the locations uh, for a given number of uh, new automatic teller machines, ATMs, in the city. Uh, to decide upon this uh, make a cluster the households while considering, uh, considering the constraints, such as uh, the city uh, rivers uh, and highway networks and the types of number of customers per cluster. And the last one is the interoperability and the, uh, usability. Generally, users want to clustering results to be interpretable and uh, comprehensible and usable. That is, the clustering may, not, may need to be tried to in the uh, specific uh, semantic uh, interpretations and applications. This is, uh, these are the uh, totally nine uh, requirements for the uh, requirements of the clustering. Uh, clustering uh, in data mine. So what are the orthogonal aspects uh, mainly we have to use? Here we have to use the uh, four orthogonal aspects mainly we have to use. Those are the partitioning the criteria, suppression of clusters, and similarity method, and clustering uh, space. These are the four uh, for uh, orthogonal aspect for the clustering method. Overview of the basic clustering method, uh, partitioning method. Uh, generally, uh, this is the basic clustering method. Our first one is the partitioning method, and uh, interact uh, hierarchical methods and density uh, based methods and the uh, uh, grid based method. These are the four types of methods uh, you have to represent the in clustering. Uh, see here, uh, this table will represent the clustering methods. Uh, these are the four methods we have to use for the uh, clustering methods. In the clustering methods, first one is the partitioning methods. Partitioning methods means generally uh, mutual exclusive clusters of the specific uh, spherical shape you have to use it here and a distance based also uh, this partition methods you have to use and uh, may use the mean mean or uh, medoid uh, to represent the cluster center effective for the small to medium and uh, medium sized data sets you have to use it here in the partitioning methods only you have to use the small and medium data sets only you have to use and the next one is the hierarchical methods hierarchical methods mainly you have to use the Clustering is a hierarchical uh, decomposition we have to use here. Cannot correct the uh, erroneous uh, measures or things. Uh, many incorporate uh, other techniques like uh, micro clustering and uh, consider object in cages. And the third one is the density based method. Can find the arbitrary shaped uh, clusters. Clusters are uh, uh, dense regions uh, of object of objects in space that they are separated by the low density region. Cluster density, each point must have a minimum number of points within the neighborhood. May uh, filter or uh, outliers. Grid-based uh, methods uh, use the multi-resolution multi grid uh, that uh, generally data structure you have to obtain. A fast processing time, uh, generally uh, you have to perform in grid based methods. So these are the four methods we have to use in uh, uh, data mining, that is the cluster methods, uh, partitioning methods, hierarchical methods, 
density based methods speed based methods and uh, each uh, method characteristics also we have to represent it in this table first one partition methods partition methods we have to call it as uh, simplest and the most fundamental uh, question of the cluster analysis is uh, partitioning methods generally here you have to choose algorithm partitioning algorithm to organize objects into the k partitions that must be k is less than equal to n partitioning methods k means algorithm generally we have to use here that is a centroid based technique we have to use that is the formula generally that is the centroid based partition techniques which is the centroid of the cluster uh, e equal to summation of uh, i equal to 1 to k uh, p belongs to ca distance of uh, uh, p comma c1 whole square Uh, these are the k means uh, generally k means uh, centroid based technique. So here uh, we have to do in the partition methods. This is the Uh, means algorithm that for the partitioning the which is the uh, where each cluster center we have to represent it as uh, mean value of the objects is a, in the cluster. In the K is the number of clusters and E is the data set containing the uh, n objects. Generally, what is the output we have to get in? That's how to consider the method of the K means algorithm. That is very important. See this diagram which shows. Clustering of set of objects using k-means method. Uh, that is the initial clustering. Then uh, second case we have to uh, This is the diagram which shows uh, initial clustering and uh, iterate uh, final clustering. Uh, see this diagram which shows uh, how to uh, using the partitioning methods for the final uh, clustering uh, partition that is using the k-means method. So first cases uh, that is the set of objects using the k-means method uh, that is the initial clustering. Uh, nearest points you have to represent the data points you have to represent it as initial clustering. And second case, that is update the cluster centers and uh, reassign the objects according to the K means. That is the uh, each are uh, marked as a A, A, A plus. So which is the uh, plus, which is the minus you have to represent it here. The data point uh, nearest to the uh, centroid that is considered as a uh, clustering k means partition. So, which is the uh, nearest to the centroid? That is considered, that is, uh, you have to represent it as in another cluster. So, see here, that is the uh, initial clustering. Then again, you have to update that is the iterate and final clustering.
So in Hatch. partition method, we have to use the two types of methods we have to use, to the two types of techniques we have to use. One is the K-Mains uh, centroid based technique and the second one is the uh, K-Medoids. Uh, Medoids uh, is a presentation of object based technique. These are the uh, two types of techniques we have to use it here in partition methods. Partition methods, one is the K-Mains uh, centroid based technique and second one is the uh, K-Medoids mm -hmm. we have to use the Another technique. Ah, good Did you make a Terracondella tag good Nick? K Madites, K Madites, including the object based technique. Uh, the major drawback of uh, K means algorithm. For example, we have to take the six points of one dimensional space having the values 1, 2, 3, 8, 9, 10, and 25, respectively. Uh, the visual inspection of may imagine the points partition into the clusters 1, 2, 3, 8, 9, 10, and 25. Is uh, where the point 25 is excluded because it appears to be the outline. If the K means partitioning the values, you have apply the K means. K equal to 2. That is the 1, 2, 3, and 8, 9, 10, 25 uh, within the cluster variation. 1 minus 2 whole square and 2 minus 2 whole square and 2 minus 3, uh, 3 minus 2 whole square. Similar way, 8 minus uh, 13 whole square, 9 minus 13 whole square, 10 minus 13 whole square, uh, 25 minus 13 whole square. Totally 196. Uh, give the mean of the cluster. Uh, cluster. Uh, second mean we have to represent comparing the values. 1, 2, 3, 8, uh, you have to consider. 9, 10, 25 is taken as a, another cluster. So, which is the K means computes the within the cluster variation. Uh, compared to the 196, now you can perform the mean value is uh, minimized. Uh, that is the uh, 1 minus uh, 3.5 uh, whole square. 2 minus uh, 3.5 square and 3 minus 3.5 square and 8 minus 3.5 square. And a similar way, 9, 10. So generally, in first case, you have to consider the uh, 1, 2, 3 is taken as a one cluster. 8, 9, 10 is uh, taken as a another cluster. So it is uh, um, uh, when our 25 is taken as an outlier. But uh, actually, in the game, whenever you have to apply the partitioning method, uh, the variation uh, you have to consider that the game is uh, you have to apply the values uh, are uh, one, two, three, one, two, three, we have to consider, and eight, nine, ten, we have to 25 is uh, taken as another cluster. So now we have to find out the k means k means value that is the 196, we have to get it. After 196, we have to getting uh, the mean of the customer, uh, we have to consider as a two, and the mean of the thing is 30. Comparing the partitioning uh, with the computers uh, within the cluster uh, variation, uh, the mean value is 3.5. Uh, so you get the value 189.67. So that automatically the mean value you have decreases. So these are the uh, these are the two methods so that is the partitioning around metoids you have to use here. See this diagram which shows uh, reassign to the AI, reassign to the or uh, or random and uh, no change for that reassign to the whole random. So data objects and uh, cluster center and uh, gapping after swapping you can do all the all four cases of cross function of k is clustering so these are the uh, these are the two types of methods uh, uh, have to use in part in partition methods k means method that is a centroid based uh, clustering and second one is the k medoids 
cluster. These are the two types of uh, partitioning methods we have to use in cluster. In next class, we'll continue with the hierarchical methods and uh, AC based method and grid based method. So, this is after now we have to complete the partition methods. These are totally four methods that we have to use in cluster. Uh, cluster methods are four, totally four methods one is the partition. Second one is the hierarchical and third one is the density based method and fourth one is the grid based method. So in partition methods, we have to the two types. K means uh, centroid based clustering method. That is the technique we have to use. And the second one is the K uh, metoids. These are the two methods we have to use in partition methods. So in next class, we'll continue the uh, hierarchical methods. Uh, thank you.